Coral snakes are a group of snakes that are in this, um, a very venomous group of snakes that um, are, contain what we consider to be some of the most venomous snakes on Earth. In order to, to honestly signal their toxicity to their predators, they have evolved a very bright, um, what we call aposomatic uh, coloration, where you get red and black banding that's very visually striking. And so their mimics are an entirely different group of snakes. The mimics, they've convergently evolved the same coloration, but they appear to be fairly harmless to predators, and that's what we term coral snake mimicry. Even though there's great evidence that coral snake mimicry exists, it seems not to follow some of the theoretical predictions um, that have been made by other biologists about how mimicry should work and also some of the observations we've seen in other mimicry systems like in butterflies. So what we wanted to do next um, was test why we might be seeing these, these differences between what we predict and what we observe. And so the place we went to uh, to investigate this was the Peruvian Amazon, which happens to be not only the most biodiverse region in the world for lots of different groups, but it's also the place where you can find the most, uh, the greatest number of coral snake species that live in the same place and the greatest number of mimics. So the University of Michigan team consisted of two professors, um, one postdoc, and four graduate students. Together, we basically all went um, and tried to catch as many reptiles and amphibians as we could because we had some members of the team who were answering questions about the drivers of biodiversity. We had some people who were interested in the ecology of, of frog diets or a number of different things and so we all worked together um, to collect as much data as possible um, for everybody who was on the trip. I was there studying coral snake mimicry um, and so uh, we worked day and night to try to catch as many snakes as possible. By going to Peru and looking at a place that has the highest diversity of coral snakes in the world. Uh, you, you can actually ask questions about how mimicry is operating um, when there are many models and many, many mimics. And so I think that until you study those hyper-diverse regions, um, you won't ever really understand coral snake mimicry.